Good morning, my darlings. Today's look is built around my next treasure from Rockorama, and it's this amazing Morrison gold and black belt. Let's have a close look at it. And I gotta tell you the story. So at Rockorama, when we were lined up, I was saying to my girlfriend, <laughs> what I really, really would love is to get some cool belts. We walked in and you know you know the story of all the amazing things that I found, but I didn't find any belts until I got to the last table. <laughs> I got to the last table, we were looking at some pretty trinkets and things, and I still had a little bit more cash, and um, the lady said, oh, if you're interested in belts, I've got a table just set up behind here, it's just a bit harder to see. <gasps> yes. <laughs> So we go over, oh yeah, it's lots of nice belts. And she says, oh, and there's a really kind of loud, extra, full-on one right at the back there. She pointed this blooming extravaganza out to me. Oh my God, look at that buckle. Oh, the weight of this blooming thing. She says, Michael Morrison. Now, forgive me, but I've never heard of you, Michael Morrison. But I saw that and thought, oh, I like your style. She said to me, oh, you can like, you know, look up the designer um, online. You can see his stuff, like it's amazing and um, very, very expensive. Oh, cool. I was like, oh, well, I will, but I don't need to now because I just trust, I just trust my gut <laughs> and I trust my eye that um, that is quality. The condition's perfect. I pick it up and I turn it over and it's got $100 on it which I'm not offended at. Like the belt is clearly worth a lot more than that. However, I've just got family in the kitchen. Bye darling. Bye. Do you want to be on camera? <laughs> yeah, I'm not offended at $100 at all. I'm just like, oh crap, I've spent all my money. In fact, I've spent all my money and then Bye! Love you! I spent all my money and then my girlfriend found the second leather jacket and I'd gone out to the cash machine and got I got another $200 out so I spent $150 on the jacket and then I had $50 left in my bag and I said to the lady it's amazing and I would really love it but I've actually <laughs> I only got $50 left, I can't, that's all I've got to spend. And she said, I'll take it. So I thank you, lovely lady, and you were a fellow Kiwi. And I really hope to meet you again at the next one and see what other amazing things that you've got. And I'll go to your table first. I've paired this with a plain black t-shirt today. It's just a kukai, little cap sleeve. Look, I'm moving away from black, and I've said that before. Um, however, I just, I just felt like today it needed to be black and gold black and gold, black and gold, to give a simply irresistible um, look. I might try it with a white t-shirt next time. In order to ensure that the black doesn't drain me, I have made sure I've layered up some different lengths of metallic gold necklaces, and I've, I've got quite a strong makeup on with a pop of my beautiful Valentina, obviously, on the lip. So I'm feeling feeling good there. I've got my lovely Alexa Tone skirt that I've shown you before. When I dressed up as a gold Logie for the day, that was fun. And then, <clears throat> it's all about the marriage between this rebellious, amazing, glamorous belt and the boots as well today with the black and the gold stitching making a nice reference there i'm wearing my favorite little tk max crossbody bag it's a rose gold eh doesn't matter golds all working together you can really see that this gold is more of an olive gold when i'm putting it against the sort of rose gold of the bag i've got all different kinds of golds in my necklaces rose gold at the choker yellow gold through these two and then multi strand is all different golds and the earrings actually look at these little cuties from Villa Visa they're all little bubbles of different um rose gold yellow gold and sort of a silvery white gold throw on my TK Maxx Michael Kors puffer well that's black and it's gold and let's have a quick chat about the makeups so today I've used magician on my eyes and not yellow not rose but a sort of something in between all the golds including 
platinum so I've, I've kind of given my whole eye a wash in that one and then I realize what I really need is the Trini London product one that I really really want is chariot because I think that magician and chariot with this look today would be mm. because chariots that real burnished khaki gold that's going to really link in with the colors in the skirt and I just can't wait to get my hands on it but today I have been able to make do with some other lovely products. So I have gone into my Jeffree Star Sworn Enemy, this one here. It's, it's more green um, than obviously Chariot is going to be, but um, there's still some gold in it. And I've also, so I've gone in there and I've like tapped that onto the lower lid by the lash line. <clears throat> and then I've also used um, this one here, which is called Monarchy. Um, under the under eye area and then I have just gone in and I've played with a little bit of gold lion on the top of where I put sworn enemy just to bring a bit more of a gold uh, gold strength to that that color so it didn't show too green and I'm, I'm quite happy with that I like it I've got some highlight today lightening up that magician it was just a little bit too dark to take right up to the brows a lecture on the cheeks Valentina on the lips and I'm good to go how do you feel about belts have you got a good belt collection maybe you don't like belts at all and if you don't because um, you don't feel comfortable um, drawing attention to that area what areas do you draw attention to the concept of this amazing elaborate detail on the spout but wear it as an amazing elaborate detail on your neck or earrings or some other feature on your on your outfit on your body that makes you feel great how do you guys feel about black as a color do you feel that you're someone who's comfortable to wear black without wearing any makeup or jewelry like, can you pull that off? That's pretty cool if you can. I've realized that I, I really can't do that anymore. I still love it as a concept. Just need to work a little bit harder with how I do it so that it, it makes me feel vibrant and not washed out. I'm always keeping my eye out for amazing belts and fantastic bargains. Anywho, I'm heading off. Have a wonderful day. I will see you on the next one.